as stubborn as mule. Has and Meg as cross as two sticks after urged to put an end to legal fight. Meghan Markle and Prince Harry should focus on carrying out valued work rather than investing time in fighting legal cases, a royal commentator has suggested. Recently, Prince Harry, Duke of Sussex has sued the publisher of the Daily Mail over an article. Angela Levin, author of Harry, Conversations with the Prince, said after the news broke, I wonder if there is much more satisfaction from fighting legal cases than doing valued good work with those who suffer. The libel action against Associated Newspapers Limited in the High Court, which the Duke launched on Wednesday afternoon, follows a previous lawsuit by his wife, Meghan, Duchess of Sussex, in 2019 over the publication of her private handwritten letter to her father Thomas Markle. She was awarded a nominal £1 in damages and secured an undisclosed sum of money which she donated to charity. Associated runs the Daily Mail, the Mail on Sunday and the Mail Online website but it is unclear which newspaper title the lawsuit is against or what article is the object of Harry's complaint. While Harry and Meghan's words were received with criticism, the pair were the first members of the royal family to speak out on the unfolding war. However, it is precisely because the pair stepped back from the monarchy in 2020 that they are able to speak about such matters publicly. According to the royal family's official website, the Queen must usually remain strictly neutral with respect to political matters, meaning a statement of the 95-year-old monarch on the row in Eastern Europe is unlikely. Prince Harry received insufficient information over a decision to change his taxpayer-funded police protection when he is in the UK, the High Court has heard. The Duke of Sussex is bringing a legal challenge against the Home Office after being told he would no longer be given the same degree of personal protective security when visiting from the US, despite offering to pay for it himself. He wants to bring his children to visit from across the Atlantic, but does not feel safe when visiting under the current security arrangements, the court was previously told. He is challenging the February 2020 decision of the Executive Committee for the Protection of Royalty and Public Figures, REVEC, which has delegated powers from the Home Secretary. Harry is arguing that his private protection team in the US does not have adequate jurisdiction abroad or access to UK intelligence information which is needed to keep his family safe. On Friday, the first hearing in the case continued at the Royal Courts of Justice in London, at which Harry was not present. The preliminary proceedings, which were largely held in private, related to an application by the Duke and the Home Office for some parts of court documents in the case to be kept private. During an initial public part of Friday's hearing, the judge, Mr Justice Swift, summarized the four grounds forming the basis of the Duke's legal challenge. He said these included an alleged over-rigid application of the policy and a failure to take into account relevant considerations. The grounds also claim that conclusions reached were unreasonable and that insufficient information was provided in relation to the REVEC policy and those involved in the REVEC decision, the judge said. During the hearing, Shahid Fatima QC, representing the Duke, provided the judge with two letters on the membership of REVEC. She told court that we've been asking about the membership, later adding that this would relate to the relevance of the claimant's knowledge about who he was dealing with and in what capacity. Ms Fatima told the court that we now know that the Cabinet Office as an entity is a member of REVEC. At the first part of the hearing held last week, the court heard that the Duke considers that the UK is and always will be, his home. Ms Fatima told the court, it goes without saying that he does want to come back to see family and friends and to continue to support the charities that are so close to his heart. A legal representative for Harry previously said the Duke wants to fund the security himself, rather than ask taxpayers to foot the bill.